What's good everybody? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video I'm going to share with you some different options you can use to transition high and low spots under your flooring. So in this particular scenario here we are doing glue down commercial carpet. We are going over top of ceramic tile and other rooms that had commercial glue down carpet in it before. So as you can see with this transition spot here there's a quarter inch height difference. Now you can go ahead and mix up floor prep and try and feather it out or or you can demo all that ceramic and enter the biggest nightmare of your life or you could buy these vinyl or rubber ramps or even wood ramps that'll make the transition gradual and nice for you. So these ramps come in four foot wide sections and they start at basically whatever height you need up to three quarters of an inch and they taper down to absolutely nothing. So in this scenario, we have the ceramic tile at a quarter inch, so we bought quarter inch ramps that taper down over down to nothing over the span of a foot. So since I'm doing a glue down carpet installation, I'm actually gonna glue this ramp into place versus nailing it down or anything. I wanna make sure every part of it is secure and tight. And all I'm doing is butting it right up to the ceramic that you can see we had to skim over that. I have a separate video coming over sharing how we do that as well. But we're using just regular multi-purpose purpose adhesive, spreading it on the floor, dropping the ramp into place, and then to cut that little fill section in there, everybody in my way. Look at people just walking across my job site nonstop. Anyway, man, take your knife. You could go ahead and cut the rough section. It doesn't even have to be perfect. As long as it's close, you're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and lob that off fill in that section and then once the glue tacks up we will be good to go for the installation we'll actually be back there tomorrow we had tons of prep work on this job today so i'll send some follow-up videos and things like that showing the final result with this but as you can see they're real easy to cut and like i said it comes in uh, both rubber vinyl and wood and you can find it at any of the flooring supply houses now here is one other doorway here just your standard 32 inch doorway we're gonna go ahead and line up the four foot ramp that we have, take our knife, cut it down to size, and then install it the same exact way. This is the opposite end of the hall. So same exact scenario. We have quarter inch uh, ceramic tile with the transition line there. We just need to feather that out so it's smooth when we do the actual installation of the carpet. Now when I drag my knife across it there, I just basically created a simple line for me to glue within because I'm not putting the carpet down right away and I don't want people walking across the glue and then tracking it across the job site. So that's just a little hack trick right there. But just using my trial to go ahead and butter in that section to get everything good to go. Set the ramp in and then typical curing time with a handful of hours. That stuff's getting tacky and we are ready to set it in. So that's all there is to it. There are loads of options out there for you if you need to transition these dramatic height differences versus go ahead and pouring floor prep and trying to feather it out to the proper amount so it's all smooth and not noticeable. So as always, I truly appreciate you tuning in, checking out the videos. If you have any questions, comment below. I'm going to connect with you on this next video.